circle packer allows you to emit your particles whilst dynamically avoiding intersections. Just link your circle packer with your emitter and allow it to take over the emission point and radius of the particles. It works wherever the particles are emitted. You have control over the maximum and minimum radii of your particles and a separation parameter to give your particles some space. Without using any keyframes, you can use the scaling curves to animate your particles on and off. It works great when combined with surface emissions, volume emissions, and even splines. The Circle Packer brings you more control over your particle emissions, helping you to create beautiful animations. The XP Cell Auto object generates particles based on three unique algorithms. Elementary controls the particles in a geometric fashion, based on rules about three neighbouring cells. There are 256 rules in total, and they produce very different results, one rule to the next. Some rules produce geometric results, and others produce more chaotic results. You can control the grid width, and allow the particles to fill more cells. You can increase the cell size. You can also start the simulation in a random state, which means that it'll more reliably fill the grid. The next mode is Game of Life, in which the rules are based on the life and death of the cells. If there are enough live cells around a particular cell, they will survive to the next generation. If there aren't enough cells around, they will begin to die off. If there are just the correct amount of cells, they will reproduce, which gives us this somewhat cool arcade retro look. The third and final mode is Diffusion Limited Aggregation. This mode produces very impressive growth systems and can even simulate the natural world. To increase the detail, we can reduce the cell size. We can also change the location of where the seed occurs. We can even increase the number of seeds. The growth occurs because invisible particles are moving all around inside the grid. As they meet another particle that is alive, they are added to the live set of particles, and you end up with this growth system. These are called walkers. You can increase the number of walkers per frame to increase the speed of the growth. And you can even increase the number of steps that each of these walkers makes. Unlike the other modes, the DLA grid can be three-dimensional. This allows you to produce some very interesting crystalline structures. The best effects are found by combining it with other modifiers. As in this example, where we use an XP scale modifier to increase the radius over time, increasing the feeling of a growth effect. Even better, adding the open VDB mesher into the mix, we end up with a really beautiful growth system. The XP Cell Auto Generator gives you cellular growth systems within Cinema 4D expanding your toolset to boost your creativity.